going to make a poster of yourselves. It's going to look like this, and it's going to start with this. Well, it actually starts with color, and I'm going to show you every step of the way to make the words wrap around your face. Alrighty then. So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to minimize this project, and I'm actually going to X out of this project because I don't need this one right now. This is the one we do need. So with this one, we're going to hit, we're going to enter a layer, put ourselves in it, and cut out the background. You know how to do this already. You better because we've gone over all this stuff. Okay. Now, you're going to hit Control T, and you're going to transform your body so that it uh, takes up the whole entire uh, picture plane. Move it to the right a little bit, and center yourselves, hit Apply, and you can kind of uh, center yourself. That's good. Fine. Now, now that I'm centered, I'll just lower myself a little so my hair is up there, what's left of it anyway. All right, that's that. Now, first things first. It's a couple of excuse me, a couple of steps that we are going to follow. All right, so we have the photo now. Now we're going to desaturate it. That's by hitting Control, um, Shift, and U. So Shift, Control, U. Now the image is made black and white. So we have it desaturated, and we're all set with that. We are going to create a new layer and fill that layer with black. So make another layer, drag it underneath, and to fill a layer with black is, I believe that's Alt-Delete. Alt-Delete. Now we have the black layer. All right, I have noise over here. I'm going to get rid of it really fast. Go to your correct layer. If this happens to you, here's how you get rid of it. Erase on the correct layer if that happens to you. This probably won't happen to you. You might be all right. All right, it happened to me, though. Now that's how you address it. Let's get rid of this little think. Okay, good. Now, next order of business. Um, we have it in black. We're going to make a composite by clicking on the photo layer. That's this one. And you're going to hold Control, Shift, Alt, E. That means you're going to hold Control, Shift, and Alt with your left hand while clicking on this layer right here. And then you're going to hit the letter E. That just makes a composite layer with a black background and this image right here is the same layer. All right. Now that we have made a composite background, you're all finished with that. You're going to save this thing and call it a uh, displacement. All right. So from here, we'll go to File, Save As. You're going to save this to your desktop. Call it displacement. Now that it's called Displacement, it's a Photoshop document. Save it to your desktop. Know where you saved it if you don't save it to your desktop. Okay, that's called File Management. So we have it saved. Um, if that composite prompt pops up, just click OK. I didn't go over that with you guys. Just make sure you do that. All right, you're going to darken this image, the composited image, all right, by hitting Control L. After you have hit Control L, you're just going to change the output levels right here in between uh, 110 and 120 so I'll do like 115 you could type it manually if you want I like 115 is good and once you're done with that you're gonna click OK so you've darkened the images the image rather excuse me you made it between 100 and 1015 now next thing you're gonna get text and you're gonna fill up this whole entire image with text I went to Google. I love Pope John Paul II. He is like one of my favorite human beings in the world, you know, next to my son. So I'm going to highlight a piece of one of the poems that he has written, and I'm going to copy it from the internet. I'm going to go into Photoshop. After I have it done, I'm going to select T for text. After you have selected T, you're going to drag from corner to corner. This is the only project that I really condone doing this. So we'll go from corner to corner and put it there. Make sure your text is flush left. And after you've copied it and you have it all set, you're going to paste it in by hitting Control V or Edit Paste. Now, it came in as a really weird font because it was set up here as a weird font. Here's how you fix this, folks. Highlight all this junk. Well, all this text, rather. All right? And we'll change it, first of all, to Arial. We'll go up to Arial. All right, so now we have it as Arial. It has a font size 11, which is a very perfect font size for this. I'm going to hit backspace, 
and now everything you go to the last character and you just backspace it so that it is absolutely flush with everything alright come on backspace backspace flush we want it flush taking forever to get there backspace backspace that's what we're looking for this is what we want now if your spacing is no good here's how you're going to adjust that we've seen this in the window character character box here is your character box your words need to be as close together as they could possibly be that's by changing this thing to nine to eight to seven you can also change the font of this to ten and make it look really really flush alright so this is pretty legit you know tens kinda small but everything is flush and I'm okay with this I'm now going to copy this I've highlighted it and let's do control C after you've control C control paste control V rather paste control V keep pasting it until you have filled up the entire image with text all right now the move this character box we won't be needing this we do have a text layer and the text layer is now done and we've gone over the entire character box and we know what we needed to do we've changed the size of it and we're all good now we're gonna we fill the whole document with white text the next order of business is you're gonna click on this little check which you never would have thought to click on just click it that means that everything is done text layer is edited finished all right we're now going to wrap the text. In the text layer, you're going to go to filter. Uh, I believe it's distort. Um, you're going to go to filter, distort, and you're going to go to displace. Uh, it's going to say layer must be rasterized, whatever, whatever. You're going to OK that. You're going to make sure that the horizontal and vertical of the displacement is 5. Stretch to fit is where it should be and it could be repeat the edge pixels hit OK now you're going to open up the displacement file that you have saved on your desktop open it automatically you saw a little shift what that just did is that um whatchamacallit that made the text the text is now adjusted to the contour lines of the image that you have which you just saw um, you know right right a second ago you're gonna go to the text layer again go to the blend mode oh sorry right here is the blend mode you're gonna go to overlay which is right here now it's overlaying your body and it looks pretty darn cool but we're not done yet so you're gonna brighten this by going to control control J that just duplicated your layer and it made it brighter because it's just uh, white on top of white as two layers, all right? Um, now that you have the layer brightened, you are going to um, add color to this text. You're going to do that by going to the top layer, the fill adjustment. You're going to click it. You're then going to go to gradient. After the gradient menu pops up, you see things happening. Just chill out. You're going to click on the gradient. And after you have selected on the gradient box just select any gradient that you like you like uh, oh wait sorry cancel I mix I messed up something click on sorry let me slow down you're gonna click on the top image alright click on the gradient thumbnail that's this one go to gradient after you ha have <clears throat> clicked on the gradient um, you're gonna click on the bar in the gradient editor you're going to uh, select any one of these which can be this one I guess cancel you know what I think I know exactly what the issue is I'm sorry I want to add color to this here's where it is we're gonna click on the fill adjustment okay you're, and I'm glad I'm struggling a little because I want you to understand that you just need to be a little resilient and you can get through it and this happens. Click on gradient. All right. After you've clicked on gradient, just click OK. Go to the mode again and you're going to change it for color. Now that you've edited it for color, we can now click on the gradient itself, 
you can hit the drop you can hit the bar for the gradient click any gradient color you'd like and it will change it and you can customize your gradients over your picture sorry for that delay I like this one I'm hitting OK and OK this is the very essence of the project um, we have selected a gradient and it's completely finished this is it alright so we started with a colored image we change it to black and white and now we have added unique words over it and the poster is uh, it can be it can become a poster from this point on alright uh, that's pretty much the begin. that's it you can add extra words over here if you want to I'm not mandating it like you can do it if you want I'll put my last name if I know how to spell my last name I E S E Reese and you could kind of uh, you know do a little bit extra with it if you want you can put your name you can go to edit free transform make it a little bit bigger you know uh, you can make it into a script if you wanted to highlight the words make them into a really cool looking script or something if you uh if that really appealed to you you know and you can go to edit free transform you could even make it horizontal uh, vertical and you could put that over here if you wanted this isn't mandatory and you can also uh, highlight it if you wanted to you could change the colors of it if you want but in this case what we're gonna do is lower the transparency opacity of this layer so it's barely visible I like that just a little touch edit free transform cool there you have it apply it done so we have Reese uh, we have the image edited and that's where we started and there's where we went all right, and have fun. Thank you so much.